first I walked in and I've in my career I've never ridden a horse that's um, over 18 hands, 18 one tall. Mopsy is 18 two, so just the sheer size of him was uh, was pretty impressive. The connection I had right away with Mopsy was uh, not just under saddle, but it was on the ground. He's he's such a big teddy bear. Um, usually I can lead him around without a lead rope. He follows me loves me um, to be in a stall. There was right away a very, very deep connection. It was right off the start, a relationship that was based on a lot of trust and lots of love. All I could say in the first five minutes was a wow for every single movement. It was amazing to ride a horse that, that wants to do it every single day. Mopsy comes out and there's not a single day where I have to push him. In fact, it's still, even today, after riding him now for uh, six years, it is still every single day a lot of relaxation. When we do a movement, we go a moment back to stretching, lots of walk breaks. And um, that's what, what makes it fun. It's, um, it's easy to get caught up into the competitive mindset of always better, always higher percentages, competing more. But I'm, I'm finally at a stage in my life where, where I'm very content, especially after, after Tokyo. The pressure is a little bit less and I'll certainly do my very best at each major championship. But if it doesn't go as well, it's not the end of the world anymore. I remember coming out of the tests in Tokyo at the Grand Prix Special and yes, of course, the score was important, but we knew right at that moment, Mopsy and I, we stepped up to the plate and we did the very, very best we did we could possibly do for our team. And that feeling is honestly very, very hard to describe. I remember getting off Mopsy, giving him a big hug and stayed with him for quite some time. And then... Um, watched obviously, obviously my last teammate Sabine go in but the appreciation and the gratitude that I felt for Mopsy is incredible and uh, I treasure that moment every single day. The phone call from uh, Snoop Dogg's producer and Kevin Hart's producer was was incredible. Uh, I remember this lady, uh, Sarah, who called me, said, she said, Stefan, guess who this is? I said, I don't know, this is um, Kevin Hart's producer. And, um, you know, we were wondering if you could come with Mopsy up to Burbank and be on, on stage. And I said, that's, I think, a fantastic idea, but you might have to check with your insurance on that. And sure enough, the insurance said, probably not a good idea to bring a horse into a TV studio. But um, just having Snoop Dogg and Kevin uh, comment on a horse that does the crib walk, it, it was incredible. It was really, really neat. And I think um, that's what we need in the sport to just get um, the mainstream a little bit more involved. And I remember so many people on TikTok saying, look at this horse. Mom, look at this horse. Look what's going on here. And it just makes me so proud that he, that he touched so many, so many people and he got his name out there.